On my way there, I heard on the radio, they were announcing this new book called Dreamland. And, you know, as the guy was announcing the ra on the radio, I'm like, I love this story. So I asked the tax driver, instead of dropping me off where I should go to stop by Barnes & Noble, I bought the book. I start reading it. It's like 700 pages. And I started writing a script right away without even knowing that I had to talk to someone about book rights and, you know, not even my manager at the time. So I spent the next six months almost writing this huge script, which was 180 pages because everything was three hours back then. And then I called my manager and I said, well, I have this script. I love it. I want to send it over. And the first question he made, and that kind of defined my whole career after, was, do you have the book rights? And I'm like, book rights? Am I supposed to have any book rights? I didn't even know. It's like, well, you need the book rights. So I called the, um, the book author's agent, and they said, oh, sorry, it has already been optioned. And too bad. Who who did it? Uh, who did option it? And then it was Leonardo DiCaprio's company yeah. because he was looking for a script to talk about New York at some kind of beginning of the 20th century or the beginning of the 16th century. He bought all the books about New York period pieces, and this was one of them. So I got my agent. I was very annoying, very nagging. I'm like, call them and say, I have a script because we don't know if they have a script, right? They have the book rights, but what if they can look at this and see, wow, this makes sense as a film um, because the book is like super complex and multiple narratives. And I really liked what I did. So I called them and, uh, well, my, my manager called them and said, uh, they were willing to look into my script and they ended up optioning it because they liked the script. They didn't have a script. And then, of course, Leonardo DiCaprio went with Gangs of New York. Oh, yeah. So it's a Scorsese movie. Also, I didn't know at the time. Otherwise, I would have freaked out even more. <laughs> But it was, it, you know, it, it taught me two lessons. One, look for the book rights, the first thing. And uh, two, uh, everything is still possible, even if you don't do it the right way. But if you do it seriously, if you, want, if you think the story is worth telling, other people will think it is also. You know, if it's relevant, go for it. Even if the, the book rights are not available, try to negotiate, talk to people, see what happens. Think about long tail because sometimes it's uh, it takes uh, many years. 